Hold on. Shh, 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 I love doing this. Shh, 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 shh. Ah, oh, death is from the air. <laughs> Have we ever told this before? No, but this is good bourbon, buddy. Steve Renella. What is this arrow pointing at on this turkey? The gobbler. <laughs> I got game eye, brother. But this is a, a yellow tail. <laughs> this is bullshit. <laughs> There's two things on Instagram that, that validate Instagram. Those two things are nature is metal. Yes. <laughs> and the other thing that validates Instagram is Brian Callen. Thank you, sir. I appreciate it. The best thing on Instagram. Do you know what that means? No, not, I mean, yeah, the muscles. Coming from you means a lot. Like the muscles. Well, I'm just so, I'm so distracted by your, your fur ring. Oh, you already passed the test. I got game eye, brother. I got game eye. Yeah. A lot of people would I not notice that, beaver. but you have such a game eye, you caught a little tuft of fur. Yeah, looks like beaver. You got, really? Looks like beaver to me. You already won. You don't get that. You're already tearing it up. Not bad, right? You're one of the best. Yeah, that's a beaver. That's beaver right there. This round is super fast. I'm gonna show you images. You have to tell me what I'm showing you mm -hmm. as quickly as possible. I don't want to put a time to it, but like when I get bored, when I start feeling bored, Time's up. I just, I don't, I don't second guess myself, my friend. I react. Kind of bears this. That's a grizzly. Kodiak. What happened? Did it's I get bear. that? It's a black That's bear. a black bear. <laughs> what are these? Some people say they don't exist, but here they are in Snipes. picture form. God. Who leaves this track? Cranes. Who does? Turkeys. What kind of shit is this man's shoe next to? That's bear. Who owns this dog? Joe Rogan. Who made this track? Raccoons. No. Our mutual friend Doug Dern calls these grinners. Possum. Kind of bears this, they're deadly. They kill a lot of people. Yeah, that's a crescent bear. What, hold on. Sloth bear. What am I holding? <sighs> I'd be a Don't shark. just say shark, please don't say shark. It's not a great white. No. Nope. A young bull shark. No. Nope. Is it a thresher? No. It's a, it's a lemon shark. You're shitting me. Kind of bears this. It's a grizzly. What does one catch with these? The crabs or lobster. Crab or lobster. Thank you, Perry. I'm saying crabs. Who left this track? Well, damn, it's got three little, that might be a platypus or a, <laughs> am I right? <laughs> that might be a capybara. That was close. Yeah? In that, they live by each other. It's a tapir. A tapir, I should have said that. Kind of Pike? No. Perch? Or what is that thing? It's a burbot. What is this arrow pointing at on this turkey? The gobbler. Hold on. That area right there is the scrotum. <laughs> what's that called, that area? <laughs> what, what's this arrow pointing well, at? Oh shit, I don't know. That looks like, that looks like a unicorn. That's a uni, unibird. That's a turkey snood. This is his waddle. Waddle. Life is too short to give up. What are these arrows pointing at in this turkey? Hey, man, this ain't turkey <laughs> trivia day. This is bullshit. We're going to do a multiple choice round of trivia. Okay. What now, the... this makes me feel like an evil sort of, um, as, I, as I pet this, like I'm holding your life in the balance. You've been a good boy or not. Remember, don't <laughs> lie to me. I can see it in your eyes. You were born in the Philippines? Yes, I was. Manila. Why were you born in the Philippines? I mean, you know, besides the fact that your mother went into labor and had you. Yeah, but my dad was a banker working for Citibank at the time. You were born in 1965? 1967. Take it easy. I'm Is 52. Right? 52 with tight skin. I play 40. Where's my camera? What is the national animal of the Philippines? Of the Philippines? Now, give, yeah. Of the Philippines? A. Carabao. B. Caribou? Carabao. Am I allowed to ask what kind of animal it is? No. B, the Philippine mouse deer. Okay. C, the Calamian deer. Okay. D, the tarsier. The tarsier? The tarsier is one of those anteater things, right? National animal. I'm gonna go with the- Of uh, your native country. I'm gonna say the carabao because it just sounds like the gala. You're exactly right. Am I? Yeah, the carabao, water buffalo. That, that, that's in your pile. Carabao. Not only have I ridden them, I've ed them. You've ed them too? Yeah. I made the mistake of showing my kid Apocalypse Now recently. And they, they slaughter those carabao. Yeah. It's amazing what a machete can do to a carabao. 
You were a history major in college. Yes, sir. What historical conservationist established the United States Forest Service? Was it A, Aldo Leopold, hmm. B, Theodore Roosevelt, C, John Muir, or D, Edward Abbey? I have to take an educated guess because I think it was Theodore Roosevelt who essentially put aside that land for Yellowstone. And he was a real outdoorsman and theatrical kind of guy. I don't know the other names, so I have to go with Teddy Roosevelt. Jesus Christ! I mean, come on, Papa. Who are you dealing with? Who do you think you're dealing with? You played Eddie in The Hangover, the insane proprietor of a Las Vegas, Nevada wedding chapel. Which of these animals that you have hunted on the Meat Eater TV show, on Meat Eater, does not live in Nevada? A, white-tailed deer. B, wild turkey. C, mule deer. Ho, 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 Wild turkey. That's incorrect. It's white-tailed deer. You're Italian. Yeah. But you know, you don't have the Italian name. My mother's last name is Sclafani. Oh, there you go. What is the name of the Italian volcano that just recently erupted in July? Was it A, Stromboli, B, Mount Vesuvius, C, Margarita, D, Liza Minnelli, or E, Zamboni? Mount Vesuvius. That is incorrect. It is? It was Stromboli. What? Yes. I laughed, I thought it was a joke. It sounds like a Stromboli joke. Stromboli is a, is a dish, isn't it? Yeah. We once endured a rainy hunting trip to Prince of Wales Island off the coast of Alaska. Yep. On the show Meat Eater. I'll point out that you had occasion during this trip to wag your penis at me. We were wet basically the entire assert, time. This is how I assert dominance. Yes, you, you wagged it at me. You I got were, it from the bonobo. <laughs> that's funny that you bring that up because we're going to come to that in a minute. Oh, thank God. What is the average rainfall per year in inches on Prince of Wales? A, gets 1,000 inches of rain. No. B, 160. That's a lot. C, 41 D7. I mean, 160 inches of rain? 13 feet. No, impossible. It's, it's 41. Is that how many it gets? 13 feet of rain. 13 feet of rain? Isn't that unbelievable? Jesus, wow. You live in the belly of the Los Angeles beast. Are you comfortable with that? I mean, you know. You're a Hollywood man. Does that make you uncomfortable or comfortable? I, I, you know, I, I like thinking of myself as a hybrid. I can, Part wild I can man. mix it up with, with the wild. This is a gimme. What unusual resident is living near the famous Hollywood sign? Is it A, a jaguar? It's pronounced jaguar. B, jagarundi. Jagarundi. C, mountain lion. Mountain lion. Great. One of your first big screen roles was Miami Bartender in the 2003 movie Bad Santa. It was 03, god <laughs> Interestingly, there's a hallucinogenic mushroom named the Santa Claus mushroom that makes people feel like they are flying. What other animal regularly consumes this mushroom? Ooh. Is it A, the reindeer, B, wolverine, C, the Siberian chipmunk, God damn. or D, the polar bear? What other animal regularly consumes the hallucinogenic mushroom, sometimes known as the Santa Claus mushroom? Reindeer. Exactly right. Now, you know that uh, if you drink the reindeer's piss, after it ate it, you trip. Really? Yeah, that's true. Reindeer piss as mushroom. As long as it's pasteurized, I suppose it's fine. That's in your pile. You have a new comedy special out called Complicated Apes. Yes. It's funny. Thank you. It's funny. I'll give you that. Which of the following is not a type of ape? Bonobo. It's an ape. Keep going. B is baboon. C is gorilla. And D is gibbon. One of these is not an ape. Baboon. Baboons are not apes. Do you know we're most closely related to bonobos? Bonobos. They settle everything with sex. Chimpanzees settle everything with violence. <laughs> Do you smell weed? Have we ever toasted before? No, but this is good bourbon, buddy. You've used your brain. Yeah. You've used your eyeballs. But you've messed with my senses a little bit, huh? The fix is I in. dulled your senses. You dulled my senses. First thing, you gotta put this bra on. The blade on. is usually sharp. Put that bra on. Hold your hands out. Put this on. You ever hear of a double blind test? Yeah. This is a double blind. Oh, I like this. I'm just getting my body used to things. I'm feeling what marble feels like. Feeling stuff is not easy. Hold your hands out. It's presented in front of you. It's a fur bearer. Um, I'll tell you, this could be either bear or goat. 
mountain goat. It's a beaver. That's beaver? Yeah, dude, you're just fondling your beaver ring. What is this head from? Uh, oh, this is a pig. No. A yellow tail. No. Or a sipa black tail or... It's a mule deer. No. No? It's a white-tailed deer. I said white tail. No, you said yellow tail. Ah, shit. Get it away from me. I'm handing you a tool. What is this tool used for? This goes into the ground and it holds something, probably a tent of some kind. That tool is called a butt out. It's used for pulling the anus. Pulling the anus. Out of a deer out when gutting it. Out of gut. That is so <laughs> up. That is so awful. Laying in front of you now is a tool. Ah. <laughs> oh. This is a turkey collar. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. <laughs> okay, hold your hand out. This is a, live, a living substance. Yeah. I'm gonna give you some clues. It's a penis. You have misidentified this before. Oh, this is, this. I thought this was shit. You thought it was shit on a stick? Yeah, which and you it's thought a fungus. It was a myth. Black knot. Black knot. Hold out your hand. I'm gonna give you a game call. What animal makes that call? <laughs> Might be a male deer. Oh, this might be axis deer. No. Red stag? No. Is it some kind of a goat? No. It's a bird, huh? No. It would go like this. What is it? It's a seeker deer. There's a piece of flesh in front of you. Raw flesh. It's not seeker deer flesh. Ah, uh, yeah. Okay. I'm telling you, it would be safe for you to taste it. You will come to no harm. Well, that's salmon. Yes! Yes! You did phenomenally well. Thank you, sir. You can take your blindfold off. <laughs> Twist his nuts until I say stop. Uh, hold that thought. Uh. <laughs> Sorry, I'm playing someone who tortures and enjoys it. Okay, the final challenge is I'm gonna give you this bag of stuff. With this bag of stuff, you can look in here, it's assorted goods. Yeah. With this bag of stuff, you need to toast this marshmallow. No problem. Get some Fritos, dry Ireland, steel wool. Get some hairspray. Get some sticks. Get a battery. Banana peel. This is good in case somebody comes at me and I can throw it to the ground and, and they slip. slip. Get a bar of soap. Man, it's just gotta <laughs> do what a man's gotta do. Soap, this is all bullshit. I don't need any of it. You're getting your mise en place. It's culinary term, you know what that means? Mise en place? Like all your shit together? Yeah. En place means in my place. Mm. Mise en place. Moi je parle français. Tu sais? Connais. Écoute. Écoute moi. Moi je parle français. Parce que j'habitais à Liban quand j'étais un petit garçon. Alors. Steve Renella. <laughs> oh, you're shitting me. Shh, no, no, I'm not going to go. I'm going to Don't ever, <laughs> ever question my roasting ability. Go ahead and enjoy yourself, buddy. I don't eat sugar. <laughs> Boom. Flex that muscle. Thank you, buddy. I appreciate it. You're not gonna try to roast that banana peel, are you? Nah, I'm just gonna put it out. When you start a fire, can you put it out? Most important thing. <laughs> We're good. That was an impressive bit of woodsmanship. Thanks, buddy. Let's do one more cheers. Thanks for having me. This was fun. So how did Brian Callen do on Get Toasted? Well, let's see. Round one, yeah, he did all right. Round two, yeah, he's even better. Round three, that wasn't very good at all. Round four, he killed it. So overall, Brian Callen's efforts earned him a total of 450 milliliters. Like Get Toasted? Subscribe to the Meat Eater YouTube channel and stay tuned for more episodes like this one.